Texas school bus traffic law. A lot of motorists are confused about when they have to stop for a school bus and perhaps when they don't have to stop for a school bus. And unfortunately, some of the people who, who are confused about this also include some police officers who are charged with enforcing that law. So let's look at the law together. Now, once again, we're talking about Texas, the state of Texas uh, school bus traffic law. And uh, we'll note right away that, that every state is gonna have their own school bus traffic law and their own set of traffic. Uh, statutes and rules and regulations. In Texas, we find uh, this particular law and all the Texas regulations, driving regulations, we find them in the Texas Transportation Code. So, this particular statute reads, an operator on a highway when approaching from either direction, either direction, either coming, approaching uh, from the front of the school bus or, or from the rear of the school bus to overtake the school bus. Approaching from either direction, a school bus stopped on a highway to receive or discharge a student shall stop before reaching the school bus when the school bus is operating a visual signal and the operator may not proceed until the school bus resumes motion or the operator uh, of the motor vehicle is signaled by the school bus driver to proceed or the visual signal is no longer activated. Now, this is long and convoluted, and if you'll look at it here, it's really only one sentence from where I began and where I ended here. But, um, uh, so you, ha you have to uh, diagram the sentence a little bit to understand exactly what your obligation is. So, cutting it down, an operator when uh, of a motor vehicle when approaching a school bus shall stop okay and may not proceed until so that's the way you read this uh, now that sounds like that pretty straightforward well take a look at this this next part an operator on a highway having separate or rather different different roadways uh, separate roadways is not required to stop. So you've got a highway, but a highway can have separate roadways. And depending on how that, those separate roadways are, co are configured, you may or may not have to stop as you're approaching that school bus. So let's, uh, let's, let's look at this again. An operator on a highway having separate roadways is not required to stop for a school bus that is on a different roadway, or, and this part won't apply very much, but, or if on a controlled access highway, the bus is stopped in a loading zone, okay? So it's really this first part here, school bus that's on a different roadway, uh, where the questions arise. Well, what's a roadway or what's a different roadway? Well, let's take a look. For purposes of this section, the statute says, a highway is considered to have separate roadways only if the highway has roadways separated by an intervening space upon which operation of vehicles is not permitted or a physical barrier or a clearly indicated dividing section constructed to impede vehicular traffic. Okay. And a highway is not considered to have separate roadways if the ro highway has roadways that are separated only by a left turn lane. So this is where a lot of the confusion takes place. Uh, am I on a separate roadway? Am I not on a separate roadway for purposes of stopping for a school bus? And if you, if you, don't use the word separate, but rather separated. Think of it that way. If it's separated by a barrier, by uh, vegetation, by some sort of barrier, if there is an actual physical separation that you can't drive over or through, well, then that's going to be a separate or a separated highway. But if your highway that you're on is multi-laned, but uh, has no barrier, 
uh, between you and the oncoming traffic other than just painted stripes indicating a left turn lane, well, that's not a separated highway and you have the obligation to stop for a uh, school bus that's on the uh, approaching side of the, uh, uh, of the highway. So let's, let's see how this plays out with uh, a diagram. Okay, I've got our elements up here that, because if you're given a ticket for this, this is what the prosecutor, what the police officer is going to have to testify to and the prosecutor is going to have to prove that uh, you, the operator, were on a highway and you were approaching a school bus from one direction or, or the other, either, either direction. It either indicates, you know, either uh, it's, it's just one of two two directions. And so that's either oncoming or, or you're, you're, you know, you're coming up behind it or you're going to pass it coming the other way oncoming to it. So uh, approaching from either direction, a school bus, and the school bus has to be stopped on a highway, not on private property, but on the highway, to receive or discharge a student operating, uh, and it has to be operating a visual signal. Okay? You take any one of those elements out, you don't have an offense here. Um, now, what about this situation right here? We've got this school bus stopped at this intersection. It's got its visual signals. Its lights are on back here, rear lights. Traffic's moving this way. And it has deployed its uh, uh, stop, stop signs that flip out. And traffic must stop because you're approaching from, uh, from either direction, from the rear. All right, very, very clear situation. Well, let's, let's take this vehicle over here and say he's gonna go this way now. Does he have an obligation over here to stop? No, why? Because he's on separate roadways or separated roadways. Uh, by, I, I drew this to have vis, uh, vegetation in it. Uh, there's a, a curb there, a concrete curb. So this is an actual separation. And so this, this fellow here didn't, can just keep on going as long as he's in compliance with other traffic laws. Uh, what about, let's move the school bus over, over here. And we'll put them a little bit further back the street here. What about here? Well, this is a no, that's a no-brainer too. You've got to stop because you're approaching the school bus. You're not on separate roadways. You're on the same roadway. Well, what about over here? I've actually, you're saying, well, of course you got to stop. It's in your way, but can you go around it? You know the answer to that. No. Okay. You cannot pass the school bus. It's a stop sign there. All right. But there, I've run into some folks that, that think you can do that. No, you can't. All right, well, what about this one? All right. He's approaching the school bus. Motorist is approaching the school bus here, stopped over here. Does he have to stop? What's the answer? Well, separate roadways, right? But is it separated by a permanent structure? No, only by a left turn lane. So he has to stop, has to stop, as well as these people, obviously, over here, have to stop. Okay. And the video, the, uh, this video is inspired by a traffic stop where a police officer who didn't know the law stopped me. And uh, this was that situation. This vehicle there. This is me over here. Bus was stopped, deployed. This was a traffic light situation. Traffic lights really don't mean anything. By the way, if you're over here, you, you better stop regardless of what that traffic line says. But here, I had stopped here and then proceeded through the green light to turn here. 
And the officer pulled me over and said, well, I passed the school bus. No, I didn't. Uh, operator approaching from either direction. That's this way. On a highway. I was on a different highway. Um, and the officer was very professional. Don't get me wrong. Uh, very professional. He just didn't know the law. Uh, he said that the school bus stopped here trumps all activity that's going on in the, in the intersection. And that's not true, at least not in Texas. Now, there may be some states that will say that, but that's not the Texas statute. Okay. So the main thing to remember here is if you've got separate roadways, separate roadways, you are not required to stop. But if you do not have a separate roadway, primarily this left turn lane situation, uh, you, you have to stop. Regardless of how wide this street is, you've got to stop. And so that is um, the um, Texas school bus traffic law.